Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're here with a special guest once again. The big man, Lil Easy, is here. What up, Easy? How's it going, y'all? Oh, you know, we're we're hanging out. So, TNT, your boy is back in the news. I don't have a boy, Jonas. Yes, you do. I don't have a boy. <laughs> your boy, the Tiger King. Okay, that actually is one of my few boy rosters. <laughs> He's a, he's you just on, got done talking about you don't have a boy. And you're like, nah, oh. <laughs> I, f- I fuck with the Tiger King. I'm sorry. So did you hear Yes. Tiger King, who's serving a 21-year federal sentence, Yeah. is running for president? I did, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to register to vote just for get, to get him on? Uh, no. Why not, man? Probably not. Uh, Because I think he is insane. Now, now, that's not to go without saying is that when you look at some of the other potential candidates, we're not looking at some other insane individuals as well. So I think you got to be a little insane to run for president in the first place. That part. That part. They yeah. say that anybody that wants that degree of power has to have some sort of like complex. Right? Easy. You running for president? No, nah, I wouldn't want to do it. I've seen the way they age after office. <laughs> I'm keeping my youth. I like my young, my young keeping my youth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, even Obama came out looking like he was sixty. <laughs> like, but, he, but but when you look at Donald Trump, he didn't change a bit. <laughs> it's because he's 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 just immortalized. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think the hardest part about being president is? The the public opinion. You just gotta try to please everyone. I don't think you can do that. So. Especially when you think about the way that the media is going to twist it, you know, one way or the other. Anything you do is wrong. Exactly. Or what you say, everyone's going to have their... Well, okay. 50-50 the other way, you know? Yeah. Just to be devil's advocate here, if you're messing up your speeches and wearing your pants backwards... I mean, people are going to have things to talk about. I don't know if anybody's worn their pants backwards, but I have seen Joe Biden shake hands with the ghost. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, and then, of course, like Trump was his own monster, just saying all sorts of random shit all the time. So Uh, Fifi over here. Yeah, I've definitely definitely seen Joe Biden fall up some stairs and off a bike. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, you know, (laughs) just saying, man, but I guess if all eyes are on you. Everyone's gonna look like an a hole nah, occasionally, bro, right? You can't be falling off bikes and upstairs. And I, you can't be I have done that. both of those things in the last but week, I, <laughs> but I wasn't famous enough to be recorded doing it. So like, yeah, that's okay. the hardest part. It's okay. like your normal everyday thing becomes public. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I shit my pants the other day. And no one, I'm joking. But you know, it's like if, if but if, we wouldn't know if you, you weren't right. Exactly. Like, unless somebody was there to record it. Right. Like I could be out there, like. Slipping in the grocery store. Nobody gives a shit about I, me. That's the worst part about being famous is definitely like being followed around because I'm I'm going to fight a paparazzi. I mean, that's what they want. You're playing right into their behavior. That's even more. That's just better content for them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, you know, because it's interesting. Wrong. So like it's I always thought it was interesting when I hear people talk about like Internet trolls and they get like riled up about them because the only thing the Internet <laughs> troll wants is for you to get riled up about them. They want to live rent free in your head, and then people are like, "I don't, do, I just don't get this person." Da, 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 and I'm like, "They won." At that point, they won. No, I feel like li- internet trolls are one thing, but a paparazzi, a human being following me around, taking pictures of me, is like the literal like, "I'm not touching you, kid." Who's like got his finger three inches from your face? And I'm not touching you. I'm not. Touching Get out of my you. face! I'm, I'm not, not in not your face. You. I'm not touching you. And it's like, I'm going to punch you in the fucking face. Should we be paparazzis? <laughs> Do, like, should we, should be, we, be we, we should be paparazzis for the normal public. We just find, like, a guy at the store and just follow him around, take pictures of him, get, and just, like, ask him questions, get in his face, see what happens. Some random Joe just walk up to him. And choose your that's your I'm, guy. I'm not doing it. No. Yeah, come on, TNT. You would be really good at I'm it. Pretty sure that we could be brought up on charges. Why? Because it's illegal. No, it is not. It is. How it's, is it not illegal for, because, for TMZ? Because you can't do it to normal people. You can only do it to rich people. Have you seen the the Walmart <laughs> shopping cart guy who records people and goes up to them and talks to them about the cart? Have you seen this guy? People uh, pull guns on him and shit. Have you ever seen the cart narcs? Yeah, the cart narcs. Yeah. I love him. Dude. He must be protected at all costs <laughs> i have like he, he, i saw this video he walked up and this guy th- like this is crossing the line in my opinion and he takes like a magnet 
that says something, and he tosses it on the guy's hood. Yeah. And the guy gets out of the car and grabs it, throws it at him all yeah. pissed off, yeah. and, he, and he gets back in the car, and he tosses it back on his car. I'm like, you're you're asking to get shot in Texas. If he's, you're had, that. he's had a guy pull a gun on him before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that video was another time yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that it happened. Like, I can't be that... I can't be that much of a troll to anybody. You were way more of a troll than I am, TNT. Easy, are you a troll? Do you like do you like messing with people? Nah, I try to stick to my own business over here. Yeah. TNT, you gonna try to sit there and pretend that you don't troll people? I do, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cart gonna cart <laughs> Same kind of subject, roughly. What's what that? is that dude's name that does the interviews that just weighs too much knows way too much? Uh, that's Nardwar. Nardwar, I thought that's that was it. How, yeah. how, I had no idea what he was talking about. How did you know I was, that? I watched a lot. You should actually watch some Nardwar interviews. They're that pretty dude, good, man. He comes up He's and good. tells you your deepest secrets in yeah. an interview somehow, and I never understood how he knows all of it. So he walks up and he's like, "Hey TNT, I know that you keep your socks in the second drawer." That's kind I, of, that, but he would be like, he'd be like, "I know you keep your socks in the second drawer, and here's the pair of socks that you wore the most when you were seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. He walks up to like rappers and like, this was that first group you were in back when you were at fourteen, right? Yeah. And they freak out and they're like, "How did yeah. you know this? Did you see like, the Tyler the Creator one? Yeah. <laughs> that one was one of the best ones, yo. Because he brought like an action figure or some shit out. Yeah. I was like, what? He the? brought some people some like posters yeah. for like fans. No one ever thought they listened so to. So he just stuff. like yeah. stocks the shit out of them and finds out about their youth and then brings it to them. I, you their know, whole life, yeah. yeah. Who knows how he figures oh, it all that's out? That's gross. It is kind of weird. He calls his mom. It is kind of. It's kind of weird. Probably, and that's what I think he does that he calls family and he's like i'm doing an interview of this interview. i'm doing a surprise interview tell me some weird stuff is gonna freak him out yeah. when i go talk to him or whatever yeah i mean he doesn't do it he pays somebody to, he pays his intern to do it <laughs> right, right he pays somebody like me to do it yeah and i'm like yeah yes, they'd sir. walk up to me and be like here's where you hid your playboys and i'd be like oh my god and they're like 60k a year hell yeah don't tell my mom about my playboys <laughs> i mean if, if, but when he pulls out the playboy that you used to jerk it to the most when you were 12 <laughs> and that's, yeah. that's the, you're like you're oh like, my god you're like miss where june playing? where have you hey, been six and seven are stuck together here that must have been your favorite <laughs> <laughs> yeah he brings out the centerfold and only unfolds halfway the other half doesn't unfold yeah, he's like, this is the one from your bedroom. Remember this? It has the yeah. pinholes. And you're like, oh. Yeah, that's some Narwar shit, man. He's pretty good, though. But he's he's, he's respected in the hip-hop community because he does a lot of hip-hop interviews. Oh, it's like a, it's all rappers? And I wouldn't say it's all rappers. He does, like, uh, other celebrities It's a variation, well, but, but, like, the ones that yeah. stick out the most end up being the rappers. Like, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, they yeah. always have the best reaction to him just knowing yeah. some weird parts about his Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. We're born actors, man. What do you want from us? <laughs> we who? What? We who? What do you mean, we who? Are you talking about nationalities? I'm talking about, no, I was talking about performative individuals, national talents. Like us? Yes. You're included. Hey, why, I'm a talent. Why wouldn't you include yourself? I don't know. I'm, I'm popular. Did you, why would it be racial? I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I asked you. Like, you, you always going? bring race into everything. Where are you going with this, man? <laughs> Oh, a, is there a problem? <laughs> like, I thought we were just having a conversation here. You're always bringing up race. I wasn't trying to be in the middle of all of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. What uh? So, so what race are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, no, you don't have to tell. I don't even know at this point. You don't even know. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing now. Uh, what is the what, who is the? You said Tyler Creator was. Who else is he? Who else is he got interviews with? Uh, there was a Snoop Dogg one that was pretty good. How's he get that close to Snoop Dogg? Just because he's known? Yeah, I mean, once you get famous enough, man, yeah, people. When can we interview Snoop Dogg? Uh, when we get more than 520 we subscribers. We interviewed Kay from, from Ink Master and Darren from Goldfinger. Yeah, you see how that went for us. Really well. <laughs> we interviewed the gold miner guy. What was the, wait, you said uh, Goldfinger. That was the the guy from the band. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a good interview. That sure. was a good interview. Not yeah. gold member, though, right? What? Not gold member. No, no. not like you <laughs> no, have no, to no. die. That was a good interview. He told us Austin. he told us he would give us 15 minutes, and he gave it, and then we ended up talking to that dude for like an hour, and he wanted he said he wanted to come back on the podcast again later. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. 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 We've, talked, we've talked to some, some semi-famous that, that, people. That gold, that gold miner guy was interesting. Doctor, uh, well, God, what was his name? I can't. Old school. That's old school, man. God, what was that guy's name? We talked to him for like two hours and let him just talk about it. Young Blood. Yeah. That was that was Young Blood the Gold Miner. Doctor Doctor Young Blood the Gold Miner. 
the fakest last name I've ever heard in my life. Hey, remember when he was nobody gonna, has that as his last. He was going to start a crypto. He was going to start a crypto. Asked us to get involved. I sat. We sat in on a call. Yeah, I mean, they literally were talking about it. Like, yeah, this yeah. was before crypto was even like, like before shit coins became shit coins. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 At no point, at no point did uh, did he ask us for money though. So. No, like, and that's why I was like, I'll listen in, see what you got to say. Mm-hmm. Like, he, did, it wasn't like he was like, I'm doing a crypto, I needed ten thousand dollars. Like, mm-hmm. and it was like, yeah, it was a legit call. There was a lot of motherfuckers on that call. Like, it seemed legit, but yeah. it never got off. But the I feel like everybody on the call was like, this guy is trying to take us. <laughs> <laughs> Like I feel like everybody on the everyone call was like, "Man, there's a lot of us on this call, but I don't, we don't yeah, know each other." Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't know. Anyways, that's all the time for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and go to thecrazytown.com for all of that. For Jonas, TNT, and for Lil Easy, hey. we out. <laughs>